Hey everybody, this video brings me and John out to New Holland, Pennsylvania. Better than the old Holland, New Holland, Pennsylvania. We're actually here to check out one thrift store that's kind of two thrift stores. It's kind of confusing. It's the Lucky Dog thrift shop, but underneath is the used to be thrift shop. Apparently though, they are supposedly, from what I was told, one in the same. I could be wrong about that, but they do sit right on top of each other. So I guess we'll start things out in uh, used to be and then Head over to, uh, head, head up the stairs into to Lucky Dog. Lucky we, Dog. We have found some pretty awesome stuff here in the past. And I'm, I've it's, never it's, been here. You, you've never been here? No. Oh, I, I have found some pretty awesome stuff here in the past. It's been a long, long time since I've last been in this store. So um, I'm thinking we're going to find some, some good deals. And uh, it's going to, it's going to take a while. This store, this, <laughs> this store is amazing and overwhelming. All right, so John's already finding something. What are you picking up there? Titans Season 2. Good, mm -hmm. good find. I have that in my collection already. This, uh, I was I was pretty excited about. It's Charlie Bartlett, which I, I do own, but my copy's not in the best condition. This is the copy I'm looking for, too. It's the it's the flipper disc copy, which I know kind of sounds strange. Who who wants the flipper disc? You just want the, just the, the widescreen. That's all you need. And unfortunately, the widescreen re-release has no special features on it whatsoever. I don't know why they did that, but they did. If you want the special features, you got to get the flipper disc. So I, I was pretty excited about this until I realized it was an old Blockbuster rental. And yeah, unfortunately, the disc is showing the fact that it was a Blockbuster Block, blah, 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 blah. blockbuster rental blockbuster. my 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 copy is also a blockbuster rental so all right anyway no no charlie bartlett but uh there's still plenty more to look through all right well unfortunately i'm not really seeing anything i need over here i know again story of my life they do actually have some interesting things like multi-feature sets and seasons of shows i've like never even heard of or seen out in the wild before which is pretty awesome really obscure Disney titles like the world's greatest athlete. I already have that though. I don't actually need to pick that up, but still, when do you see that out in the wild? Never. And everything's actually on sale. All DVDs are one dollar right now. They're seventy-five cents or three for two. So, kind of hoping I maybe still find something. I've, I mean, I've gone through all this. I don't see anything, but there are still some movies over here that John's looking through. There, there's more movies upstairs. There might be some more pockets of things. I'm gonna find something. And this is why you always keep the power of positivity alive. Because again, over there, wasn't finding anything. But then we turn the corner and there's a whole boatload of stuff over here. I'm seeing all kinds of box sets. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm finding things like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the special edition release in the jewel case. That's pretty awesome. There's box sets down here with things like Dragon Ball inside it. So, all right. Again, I don't know if I actually need any of this. But yeah, there's... Um, we're, we're, we're kind of losing our minds right now. John's finding oh, gosh. video games and stuff. Yeah, we're, we're we're happy we came in here. All right, so as far as all of these DVDs and some VHS tapes are concerned, I'm just not really finding much in the way of anything I need. Again, I know, like I said, story of my life, but they do have some really cool things like this. The History Channel Civil War set. I already have it. That's really cool, though. This is neat, too. The Emmy 2016 HBO, which has a Cinemax uh, release here. This is like a, a four-year consideration release. That's pretty cool, but I don't need it. And they did have Highlander Season 1. This I would have picked up for $8, but some of the discs are not in the best condition, so I'm probably going to pass on that. These, however, for the store, I think I am going to pick up. Again, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Lion King, so brand new factory sealed on Blu-ray. So some, some interesting finds, but uh, nothing for me yet. Wait a minute, hold on. There's actually some more VHS tapes over here. Some really awesome ones like Rocky Horror Picture Show, Christine, Thundercats. Oh, I love Thundercats. I actually already have all those. I do not need them. However, this I do need. This is Mask, where Eagles Dare. These have episodes from season two. Season two was never released a DVD. Season one was in the like complete series set. Yeah, it's very misleading and very wrong. It's, it's actually only season one. If you have the complete series DVD set, you actually only have season one. So I I need to pick this up. So um, all right, I'm finally finding something for me. Some some mask. Fantastic cartoon series. This store is extremely overwhelming. There's just so much to look through. The shelves are just completely loaded with all kinds of stuff. And I'm hoping maybe for some Again, collectible toys or something like that to go on some shelves down in the library. I'm also hoping maybe for some more little pockets of, of movies. That would also be be kind of nice. But yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot to look through. This is this is gonna take a while, and I'm I'm okay with that. John's over here finding a whole bunch of posters. Look at that. Rugrats go wild. That's pretty awesome. There's a lot of different stuff in here. I don't 
I don't really, I don't really need more posters. I just, I just a couple weeks ago, I bought another poster that I, I did not yet need it for possible future use in a future home in, in Florida. But what is, what is that? Oh, was that Moose Port? Whatever yeah. it's called. Great movie. All right, cool, cool posters. I'm gonna stay away from those though because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna find one I really oh, want. Freddy versus Jason. Are you serious? Nope. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna find one I want and then I'm gonna have to pick it up. So while John's back there looking at things I don't need, I'm finding things I don't need up here. Look at this amazing Ice Age 2, the meltdown, like pot bowl thing that looks like an acorn. This is really, really awesome. I mean, what would I do with this? I don't even know where I would, I would put this in the library. I don't really have room for something quite this size, but I kind of... I, I kind of want this. What they ask him? Is that, is that $15? I don't know. I mean, maybe for $15, i am going to end up passing on this. But um, yeah, that's pretty epic. That's pretty amazing. And I, I kind of want it. And I've never been so happy that I no longer collect Pez dispensers because I would totally be picking this up. The Pez Doctor and Nurse Faux Metal Lunchbox. I mean, this thing is awesome. Even has a thermos inside. That thermos has me completely sold. It's a metal thermos as well. That is really really neat. What are they asking on this? It is also $15. I mean, that is pretty awesome. That is cool, but I don't collect Pez dispensers anymore, so I'm just going to put that back right there because if I buy it, then I'm going to want to um, to buy Pez. Also, where did I? Oh, <laughs> thought I lost my movies there for a second. This place just keeps on going and going and going. It's the Energizer Bunny of, uh, of thrift stores. What is that? That's Batman. That's actually good. It's kind of awesome. That's great. That's cool. This See, something like that would look good. Something like that would actually look pretty awesome on a on a shelf down in the library. That's it's kind of neat. But yeah, we can go back here into these like little sort of warehouse areas. I mean, look at this. It's it's insane. We're gonna be here forever. And this is just the downstairs portion. We still have everything upstairs. There's what? There's what? Yeah. Oh my god. I know. Look at this. It. I mean, it just again, it's it's never ending. Okay, so yeah, we are actually going to be in this store for a good like 17 hours. This whole entire, maybe 18 hours, right. this whole entire back wall here is full of nothing but VHS tapes and there's a boatload of CDs to go through. This is intense. I I mean, I've been here before, but I don't remember all of this. I was, I was either not expecting this or just forgot about this or whatever. Yeah, I'm calling it right now. You know what? No, not 17 hours, not 18 hours, Ni 19. Maybe we'll just, we'll just sleep here tonight. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, we can find a cot. Yeah. Or... Oh, they, they probably have them here. All right. So I don't know if it's just the fact that I'm extremely tired or maybe the fact that I haven't eaten yet today and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon or maybe just a combination of everything, but I'm not really finding anything over here I want to pick up. But with that being said, my eyes are just kind of like a jumbled mess of colors right now. So uh, I, that's a, that is precisely how I feel trying to look through all of this. So I'm thinking it's going to be a bust. I don't, again, I don't actually see anything I, uh, I want to pick up. You find anything, John? That's just my eye. Oh. It is very musty down here. All right, so I'm thinking VHS tapes. I mean, it's impressive, but I, I don't see anything I need. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, I take everything back that I just said. I, what? Uh, what? Uh, I don't even know what to say right now. There is I can't see, a Dad. boatload of Titanics here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 copies of Titanic on VHS that at a thousand dollars a piece, $22,000 sitting right here on this shelf. That is insane. I could pay for my, my move down to Florida right here by picking all of these up. But you know what? I think I'm not going to, I know what are these like a dollar? They're, they're 50 cents a piece. So at most a dollar a piece that <sighs> I'm going to be good. I'm just going to leave them for somebody That's else. Gold right there. I know I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy like that. I, I I could be a jerk. I could pick them all up for me to 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 you be to be rich. Hands, right? I know. I don't feel. Like, yeah. I just don't feel like carrying them out of here. But I'm I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them for some other collector or reseller or whatever. They they can have them. But seriously, that's like that's twenty two grand sitting right there on the shelf. That's <sighs> that's a mistake. John is having way too much fun with his horror sound effects right there. <laughs> Ah, uh, I can't take this guy anywhere. All right, so I'm thinking that's going to do it for the um, downstairs portion. We're in a whole nother area over here at this place. Again, it's huge. I don't know if it's coming off to you guys on camera or not, but this place is just insane, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. And again, this is just the... 
<laughs> it's just the downstairs portion. We still have everything upstairs to do yet. So, all right, I'm thinking it's just gonna be just gonna be this. You're picking up just that. What did you, where did you wait? Where did you find Captain America? It's, 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 what, what did you wait? Hold on. What did you find? Captain America. Dinko Torgasm. How many your mother? What season one? One and then yeah, Titans and Superman Doomsday. I did not even see you pick any of that stuff up. So, all right, cool, cool finds. It was a while ago. Anyway, let's go upstairs because I'm completely starting to lose my mind. All right, so out of the used to be thrift shop and now into the Lucky Dog thrift store, we have to go through here. Oh, oh, we were. We were just over here. I see. See, it's oh. it's very very confusing. So we were just we were just over there. No, we have to go up the stairs now. See, John's John's leaving again. Now we have to go up the stairs to the second floor, and that's how we get to the lucky dog again. This place. Just realized who you were. This place is in. Oh, they yeah. They recognized me. Yeah, just I'm like giggling. I'm famous. <laughs> this place is just seriously like, it's it's insane. No, you know what? Not 19 hours. I'm, I'm up to get to 20 hours. We were told they had more media upstairs, and sure enough, they do. There's a bunch of um, DVDs over here and a whole boatload of CDs to be going through. I'm guessing we're going to look through all the, the some, CDs. Maybe this is where the good stuff is. I don't is know. Is it Beethoven or Beethoven? It's Beethoven. Yeah, I thought so. Beethoven? Who the heck calls yeah, it? Who calls it Beethoven? Wait, no. Beethoven, Beethoven's a dog. Uh, Beethoven's, yeah, Beethoven's the, the composer. Beethoven's the, the composer, yeah. And we just found a whole boatload more DVDs and some Blu-rays as well. And right away, John actually saw this. He goes, oh, look at this. What, what, what is I Saw the Dead? I actually need this. I have this in a multi-feature set. I've been looking for an individual copy of it. And this right here is an individual copy. It is an old rental copy, unfortunately. However, I did check and the disc is completely 100% mint. I don't really think many people rented this movie, unfortunately. It's actually pretty good. I would I would recommend this one. If you like zombie movies, it's actually a pretty funny zombie kind of comedy. I would I would recommend this. Anyway, I need to pick this up. So for a buck, I'm grabbing this. So as awesome as it is to find a movie you're actually looking for, I'm thinking um, that is unfortunately going to do it for, uh, for these movies here. I don't see anything else I want to pick up. Just the, I sell the dead. That's it. But again, I was looking for it. So I'm I'm happy with the find. I'm seeing a whole bunch of Walt Disney World mugs over here, which is pretty awesome. Here's uh, one just for Walt Disney World. I'm loving that. There's also a, a Star Tours one here. There's a Mickey Mouse with a... J oh, John, I found your, your mug. It's got a J on it. John needs to pick that one up, I'm thinking. They also had a really awesome, like, Fantasia Mickey Mouse one over here. That's really cool. But again, I don't I don't need these. There's no, there's no figment. I don't. I don't need it. However, these I am going to pick up. Not for me. I'm grabbing these for Renee from Radstash. I'll put a link down below to her YouTube channel. If you don't check her out, also check out her thrifting channel as well. So, yeah, these are pretty awesome. She's a big-time McDonald's collector, so I am I am going to grab those for her. They're only $8. So $8 for all four of these. That's pretty fantastic. But, all right, continuing on. Again, overwhelming. My eyes are still all going blurry, especially when I'm seeing this many VHS tapes. But all that 50 cents a piece, I'm, I'm, I'm having to look. I actually am finding some pretty awesome things like the noozles here. I actually already had this. I, I don't need this. So I'm going to I'm gonna end up passing on that. And you've got to be kidding me. Yet another copy of The Ransom of Red Chief. I still have not watched my DVD copy of this yet. But this is now the third copy of this movie I found just this week alone. That is insane. And again, I think it's something trying to tell me that I need to sit down and watch that movie e immediately. Maybe. maybe maybe tonight. Maybe. Possibly. What? What was, what was, it? What was that? C Cinema Gods? Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah, watch, do, do I need to watch the movie? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I can't. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> this, is, this is insane. This store is amazing. The movies just keep on coming. There's a ton of CDs to go through as well. John's down here diving through this box of stuff. I just... I, I honestly don't remember there being this many movies here last time I was in the store. I don't think there were this many movies here last time I was in the store. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna dive in. What's what's that? Oh, skateboarding? Yeah, that's actually kind of awesome. All right. Actually, though, in all seriousness, I am going to pick this up. What's that? Kaleidoscope, a skateboard film by Steel Roots. That's pretty awesome. It's, it's skateboarding. It's brand new factory sealed. I'll pick that up. 75 cents? Yeah, definitely grabbing that. I've officially taken over the chair now, and I'm looking through all these uh, movies down here, and I'm finding things like this. Delta Force 2, which is a title, again, I already own, but I have it within a multi-feature set, so I do actually need to pick this up for 75 cents. I am I am grabbing that, and I'm not really seeing much else, so I think I'm just going to 
hang out here, take a nap. Take, Sounds good. Take your time, John. Okay. Take your time. All right. We're finding even more movies yet over here on this shelf. Lots of CDs as well. I'm not seeing anything I need though. John, what did you just pick up there? Look at that. The Incredible Hulk, the two full movies. Incredible Hulk Returns and The Trial of the Incredible Hulk. I I had this, sold my copy because I bought like the Blu-ray set and it said includes the movies. I thought it meant those movies. That wasn't the case. I had to rebuy that. And now that I've rebought it, I, I, have, I found like 20 copies of that out in the wild before, which is just it just figures this shelf over here is a bit of a nostalgic trip for me i'm seeing things like um Ringling brothers and bartim and bailey circus is that even a thing anymore didn't they like stop doing that because of like animal cruelty or or something with the elephants or i don't know is that is it still a thing i don't i don't think it is maybe it is i have, I have no idea anyway i do remember my mom taking me to go see that when i was a kid here's tmnt water bottles i used to have those as a kid and who remembers burger king chicken tenders not chicken nuggets chicken tenders they were the best chicken tenders chicken nuggets in the industry they were chicken amazing candies? well no burger king had the best like chicken nuggets in the industry and then what they, they did, did is they used to when they were called chicken tenders and then they went we're not we're doing away with our chicken tenders we're gonna do these chicken nuggets now and they taste like absolute garbage garbage and it's a shame because they used to be so amazing so cool i used to love eating them and now they don't make them anymore and with that, John has completely lost his mind. This is all video games over here. I mean, they've got things like Xbox and N64, and I'm seeing, wow, this is actually pretty awesome. Look at the Game Gear. See, that's that's tempting for me. They've got Xbox <laughs> systems. They've got Super Nintendo, Wii U. They've got Le Lego over here for some reason. I'm seeing PlayStation 2. Ooh, they've got Switch games. I might have to look at some of those maybe for for the possibility of grabbing some of those for, for Sean or maybe even for me, who knows? There's some PSP stuff. I don't see any game, they have, is there no Game Boy? How could there be no Game Boy, Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance? There has, there has to be some Game Boy here. Anyway, so John's losing his mind. He's gonna be spending a lot of money. I might get away with not buying anything, maybe. Hold on, wait a minute. I actually just found all the, uh, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games are over here inside the case. Thankfully though, I think I wanna say I pretty much have all this stuff i i don't actually really see anything i need i mean maybe a couple like shovelware titles i i don't have but i want to say yeah pretty much everything i would really want out of here it's stuff i already have so yeah i don't have to spend money on games today good all right guys that's gonna do it for the lucky dog thrift shop all in all i am pretty happy with my finds i picked up a ton of stuff john here is going crazy he picked up so many things this store is intense it is crazy i guarantee you we missed yeah, over yeah. stuff Next time we come out here, we're just skipping the Goodwills and we're just coming straight yep. here because um, had I known we'd be inside this store and this store had been, been as crazy as it is, I mean, I've been here before, but I honestly just forgot how nuts this place is. Had I known, I would have gotten some food before we actually got here and then maybe looked around a little bit more, but um, my brain is officially turning to goo at the moment. So we're, we're, we're done. Again, we'll, we will be back out here. We'll make a specific yes. trip just for this store alone because you could literally spend, like, I'm, I'm going up again, 21 hours inside this right. store so all right guys that's it so as always thank you all so much for checking out this video be sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and of course check down below for links to patreon spreadshirt and the cinema sickness store it came from cinema sickness also check down below for my second channel retro rest stop for daily adventures and check down below for a link to some of the balls on instagram and we will see you i will see you maybe we'll see you who knows Ooh. in the next video either way though i'm gonna go get some burger king because i am about four seconds from passing out all right thanks for watching have a good one Bye.